This is Alex. He's a maintenance supervisor in a large industrial plant. Every day, Alex struggles with a large amount of maintenance work and many urgent repairs. His crew just don't have enough time to get all the work done. Too often, work stops because a part is missing or because the crew are unsure how to complete a task. Alex is worried about the growing backlog of work. Repairs are not getting done on time, leading to equipment failures that could have been prevented. Alex is overwhelmed and worried that one of these days, things could go terribly wrong in his plant. Luckily for Alex, a new maintenance manager has just started at the plant. When Alex has a chat with Anna about the state of the plant, Anna explains that better maintenance planning and scheduling will help solve many of Alex's problems. That's because planning and scheduling provides everybody with the right tools, materials and work instructions to do the right work at the right time. Here's how it works. While working in the plant, Jack notices a pump nearby that makes a strange noise and seems to be running hot. Jack raises a work request in the CMMS. What, when, where, the likely causes, any actions and risks involved. The following morning, Jack's work request is reviewed to make sure it's clear and complete. The work request is prioritized and approved. Charlie, the maintenance planner, receives the approved work request and starts planning the job. He visits the job site to diagnose the problem with the pump and checks what materials, tools and resources are required to complete the job. Charlie documents everything in the work order. Materials are ordered and when they arrive on site, Charlie makes sure they are correct before marking the job as ready for execution in the CMMS. That is the sign for Jenny, the scheduler, that she can include the job in the schedule. Jenny takes all work orders that are ready to execute and based on their assigned priorities, creates a draft weekly schedule. Jenny groups work that needs to be done on the same equipment or is in the same area of the plant, all in an effort to maximize crew efficiency. Once the draft schedule is ready, it's discussed during the weekly schedule review meeting, where operations and maintenance jointly agree on what work will be done next week. Once the schedule is agreed, it acts as a binding contract for everyone. Jenny issues the weekly schedule, and Alex, as the supervisor, hands out the work to his crew. As Jack completes his work, he keeps a daily record of the time he spends on the job and provides detailed technical feedback once the job is complete. That information is used to analyze and improve equipment performance, but also to improve the planning and scheduling process. Over time, Alex notices that his crew is getting more work done thanks to the good job plans and a clear schedule. As more work is done, the backlog slowly melts. There are less urgent priorities. Both Jack and Alex notice that it's becoming a better place to work. Safety improves, reliability goes up, and so does production. Alex wonders what they could improve next 